Good morning, Stampers. It is Thursday, June the 16th, and I'm just going to kind of wait to see the video come up on Facebook. We know how challenging that can be because I want to make sure <clears throat> that it's being recorded, not upside down or sideways. That's always, always a challenge. <clears throat> and sorry, you know, it's allergy season, so I've got a kind of a hoarse throat, if that's what you want to call it. Aha! We are there! Yahoo! So I will try my best. I'm really not good at doing the comment thing. <clears throat> you know, I try. Um, I'm, I'm still fairly new at this, but we're we're getting there. I think I've got maybe 30 videos now, so um, doing doing well. Um, why is it? For, oh, I know why. Okay, all right. Make sure the sound isn't on. <clears throat> okay, sorry for the clearing of the throat. <clears throat> well, it's June the 18th. We're halfway through June, and, um, you know, we just, June the 3rd, the brand new 2020-2021 catalog was launched, and what exciting times we, we have right now. But the other thing that is going to happen, and I, I'm not sure why they're doing it so early this year, but let me pull up the, the date just to make sure. On June the 24th, same month as the annual catalog launch, on June the 24th, the August-December mini catalog PDF, <clears throat> sorry, is going to be available online. And I'm not, okay, the August-December mini catalog selector um, that's August the 3rd, uh, the, okay, sorry. June the 24th, the August-December mini catalog PDF is available online. Okay, June the 30th, the August-December mini catalog mailing selector will end. So that's your last day to get those catalogs out to um, anybody that you want to send them to. And... Um, we do have a promotion going on right now for the month of June. Um, again, if you want to become a demonstrator, <clears throat> it's $99. And for that $99, you get $125 worth of product. You get to pick it. We don't have anything to do with it. We will help you um, try to figure out what you would like to, to purchase. Um, it also comes with, I believe, $50 worth of business um tools and you can use those don't use those you can be a discount shopper you can be a uh, full-on demonstrator it is totally up to you <clears throat> um, the um, like you said there's $125 worth of product um, that you get to choose plus the $50 worth of business supplies and I believe you also get a paper pumpkin one month um, kit, which is always great. It'll have a, um, um, a block in it. It's not as nice as these blocks, but it's still a block and <clears throat> there will be enough things in there to make cards and there will be a rubber stamp set. <clears throat> so that's always a good deal. Now the special that they're running this month, if you decide to become a discount shopper or a demonstrator and sign up, they are also allowing you to pick a bundle of your choice on top of everything else and also free shipping. Um, so, I mean, what a great deal. I mean, you could possibly get about $170 worth of product for $99. I mean, how awesome is that? Um, I just signed a, a new lady up the other day, and um, she picked out a fabulous um, extra bundle, and uh, I think she's going to get a lot of use out of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So <clears throat> that's where that stands. Um, 
If you would like to purchase products for me that are being used today, um, please use this host code if your order is under $150. Um, if you your order is $150 or over, please do not use this host code because you will get uh, special Stampin' Rewards from, uh, from Stampin' Up! directly. <clears throat> okay, I am really sorry about the throat thing. Today, uh, oh, one other thing. I just want to let you know, I just started a new um, uh, video, and it's going to be on Wednesdays. It's called Card, Step, Card Sketch Wednesdays. The first one was done yesterday, and what that will be, um, this is just a little idea to give you a little idea of what it is. Um, I'm doing it a little differently than other people do. I give you a card sketch idea. Okay, here's kind of the layout. And then what I'm, what I'm doing, because I'm going to be giving away prizes, it will be, um, it will be on, fa the Facebook will be live, and then it will be uploaded to YouTube. And um, you have a chance to win on Facebook um, and or, well, or on YouTube. You, you, you only get to win one prize, but you can enter in both places. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm going to pick out something on um, the sketch because, like I said, this is a, a card idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the dimensions of everything. I'm going to tell you what I used. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of the items on here. It might be DSP. It might be um, a rubber stamp. It could be a die set. Okay, what I'm going to do is it's up to you to come back and and make a comment and say, because this time I picked this particular item. Now, what you're going to have to do is name the, the name of the rubber stamp set or the die set and also provide me with the item number that goes along with that die set or rubber stamp set or DSP. I think this is going to be fun. Okay. Um, and you will have one week to respond because, and, and um, I think I'm closing it off at 8 o'clock in the morning on the morning of when I do the, um, um, the new recording every week on Wednesdays. Um, I, I, I did it yesterday. I can't remember what time. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it at, at, nine, at 10 o'clock. I'll let you know and um, get a notification out to you to let you know when and what time. But it's always going to be on Wednesdays for right now. Okay, today I'm a little discombobulated, but what else is new? Sorry. Just a little sip. Um, today we're going to do something and I am, my stuff came yesterday. Oh my God. The prize peony came and I cannot wait. I haven't, I, this just came yesterday afternoon and the dyes that come with this are unbelievable. This is, this is the new die. These are the new dyes. I haven't even opened this up. I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. The flowers, the dimensional flowers that this this makes, I don't know who came up with this idea, but these are stunning. If you haven't seen some of these on, um, look at all the dies we get. I think there are 14, no, there's 17 dies in here. And if you haven't seen some of these, um, these peonies online, go check it out. You'll find them all over. They are just stunning, and I can't wait to start using it. The other thing that I got yesterday was, I think these are so cute, zany zebras. Isn't that adorable? It's time to celebrate. Wild about you. Happy birthday. Kick up your heels. You party animal. I, I just think these are so cute. Can't wait to use those two. Yes, I'm excited. Okay. Now, for today's project, um, this was in my head all night. I woke up thinking about it, and not necessarily with this paper, but I, I've been wanting to use this Just Jade. I didn't like it particularly when I saw it um, on my computer screen, but I really am liking this Just Jade. I think it's a, a beautiful, beautiful color. And I am also using 
the, let's see what it's called, Forever Greenery Designer Series Paper. And again, we always have two, well, not always, most of the time we have two-sided paper. Here's what it looks like. And there's the other side. And this is pretty directional, so you gotta be careful when you're cutting your paper. I kind of had to switch my design around after I figured out that I had cut my paper wrong. But these are really pretty. I'm not necessarily a green person. Now, pretty peacock is probably one of my favorite colors. But these greens are so, so beautiful. Almost mouthwatering. Look at those. I just love those. Okay, so and and I'd I'd have to say this this top one is probably my favorite. Let me see what's going on here. I just want to make sure. I want to see if there's a glare. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to bother you with a glare. Okay, so let's see. I can get that out of the way for right now. Okay, the other thing I'm using today is the lovely labels. Pick a punch, and I got a little tip for you on how to use that because of the way I'm going to be using it. I'm also using the Prized Peony Pretty Peacock ink and, of course, Whisper White. Okay, now I have cut most of this out because I didn't want you to have to sit and wait for me to cut stuff out. But what I'm doing is, if you can see this, I've used the label punch and I'm using the largest as you can see there you could there's slots for three size labels so you can layer them just the way we layer other stuff one of the things though that I want you to understand is all right the largest groove is an inch the second largest groove is three quarters of an inch and the smallest groove, I believe, is a half an inch. Now, when you go to cut your paper to fit in these slots, do it just to the right, or how do I say this? Just smaller than the actual size. Like I said, this is an inch. Make it just barely on the smaller side of the inch, inch mark. If not, it, your paper's not going to fit in there properly. See how nice and easy this fits in there? If you if you cut it right at an inch, it's going to be too big. And trying to slice a little sliver off, not the easiest thing to do. You can do it with the mini mini cutter, but why waste your time? Like I said, on each one of these, you're going to have to cut it just slightly smaller than the actual size. Please remember that. The other thing for the length, because I've used both sides and I wanted the my I wanted to make this a layered label. Alright. I cut the paper the actual paper. Alright, the green, uh, the jade green is three inches long. Let me write let me just write blah, 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 I wrote it down. Uh, oh, sorry. These these pieces of the jade green, these were these were all three and a quarter. Okay, the designer series paper is three quarters of an inch across. Again, just slightly under three quarters of an inch, and the length was three inches on the um, designer series paper. And then what I'm doing is one of them, I'm, I've got three labels that are gonna be lined up, okay? And then one, the one with the sentiment is gonna be, the, I, like you said, you start off with the jade green at one inch and at three and a quarter, all the measurements will be on the, on the website. And then the DSP was at three quarters and the length is three inches, okay? So I did, I, I, I did all the, um, the punch cutting, because I didn't want you to have to sit and watch me do all the punch cutting, but I did want you to see what they all look like. And so the last one is, I'm gonna use the designer series paper, okay? And we're gonna slide it in 
okay? What you should do is always turn your punch over to see how it's lined up. Make sure that it's on, it measures pretty evenly um, where it's cutting, okay? See these little, that little point there? That seems to be right at the edge of the paper. So make sure it's at the, at the edge of both sides of your paper. That way you'll get a nice, nice even cut, okay? You don't want it lopsided, all right? So now we're gonna do the other one. And always remember, put your the, paper, the side of the paper up <clears throat> that is going to be, you're going to be using, okay? Reason being is when these punches punch and they punch down, they push that paper down on the edges. So it gives you a really nice finish on the top. But if you turn it over, you're going to see a little bit of a raised edge. I don't know if you can see that. And so it's a little bit rougher of an edge on the back side. So remember to use the punch with the paper design on the top that you want to use. Again, I'm going back in here to make sure that it's, it's lined up evenly and that we're not going to have a crooked top on it. Um, am I in the wrong? I'm on the wrong side. Okay, remember there's two different tops to this. Glad I looked at that because I was like, that's not, doesn't look right to me. Okay. Again, go to the back, turn it over so you can see how it's getting cut. Okay. All right, so those are all cut now. Now all I have to do is glue those down. And I'm not going to glue that one down yet. All right. Oh, whoa, that's a new one. That's juicy. Juicy Lucy. That used to be a burger that we would get down in Mexico from my friend Belinda. And she just got a new job. She's back in Canada with her husband. And so we just, we're just trying to line it up here. Okay. All right. So close up that. All right. Now my first little thing to do is I'm going to be using two sentiments from the prize peony. One is love and thanks to a dear friend. And the other one is your sweet friendship refreshes the soul. Great sentiments. Okay, now the block out here. I'm going to try and get this on as straight as I can. And since I'm always not all that good at putting these um, labels on, I'm going to do a test run. I always do a test run on a piece of scrap paper just to make sure that I don't, that I get it straight. I do not like doing labels over. It looks pretty good. And I just got ink on myself. Of course. <laughs> What's a day without ink? on some part of your body. Okay, it looks a little bit high on the left-hand side. Let's try one more time so that I can compensate for that. Okay, much better. Okay. And remember, there's always usually two sides to a piece of paper, but try to pick out the best side. Okay, so we're going to aim it down a little bit. It's kind of hard for me to see. Okay, pretty good for the first time. Forgot my chamois, forgot to wet my chamois, but it should still be pretty wet. Yep, pretty wet. 
probably put water on this about four days ago. So it's still wet. And ha having it still be wet in Arizona is a miracle. <clears throat> okay, so now I can, I'm going to close that up because if I don't, I will be wearing it. Okay, we're going to glue this sentiment to this other label punch. This is really a gushy glue thingy, thingy, thingy. All right. Let's just trying to get it as level and straight as I can. Okay. So I'm just press that down. Yes, I have little flags. I love my American flags. I love my Neo guy. He's such a cutie pie. Okay, so now one of the other things. Okay, the um, I used Whisper White as the card base, and the Whisper White is. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Again, all the measurements will be on um, the um, uh, be on the on the website. Um, it will be here on well, all the measurements measurements and everything will be on my blog and on YouTube. I don't usually put the measurements on Facebook. All right, um, the next piece for the panel is um, uh, Jade, what's it called? Just Jade, okay. And the Just Jade is five and a quarter by four. All right, and the Designer Series paper is five by three and a quarter. As I said, see this has, this has a direction. I actually wanted my card to be like this, not like this. But when I cut the paper, I was like, okay, now we're going to have to change the direction of our card. Not a big deal. I can get over it, um, but I just would have liked to have had it um, another way. Okay, the inside, I've made the dimensions a little bit different. Just Jade is the same as the front panel. It is five and a quarter by four, and the Whisper White, I've added an extra panel of the Whisper White, and that is going to be four and three quarters by three and a half. I wanted to make it just a little bit smaller to give it a little bit different look on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to go and <clears throat> glue our DSP to our Just Jade panel. And again, this is a new, Just Jade is a new in color and I just love it. Get this out of the way so I don't end up messing that up in the process. All right. I try to put my paper long ways in front of me, and then I try to line up the th three sides here, and that will usually give you a perfect frame every time. That's just a tip that works for me. Okay, now, uh, do I want to put those on first, or, um, and I think I'm going to put those up on dimensionals. I have not made this card, um, I just set it up this morning, and I think what I'm going to do, maybe, should I glue that down and raise these up? Yeah, I think I'll glue that down and raise these up, so... Let's see where we are centered wise. And we're just going to make guesstimates here. So I really like that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to raise those up and glue the center one down. Okay. Hopefully I can get it centered. without causing too much damage. All right. All 
I don't know why, I just wanted to work with this label. It looks pretty, pretty well centered to me. Okay, <laughs> sure. And then I go and move it, of course. Okay, that still looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna do dimensionals on these pieces. I'm gonna do the Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna use three of them. Where's the other one? Where's my other piece? <laughs> it's so easy to lose things when you're working in a 10 inch area. Okay. Let me get my take your pick tool. There it is. Take the paper backing off. Oops. Okay. And does that look straight? Yep, pretty straight. Okay. Take the paper backing off of here. here. Yeah, it's a little bit off. Okay. I know it's, it's a little busy, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Okay, so now one of the things I'm going to do on the inside is where's my other sentiment okay we're going to oops once again I'll take this one off and make sure that we are straight so I will do a test stamp on my paper my scrap paper before I do it on the actual paper that's going to be used. Okay, that looks pretty straight. Awesome. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm also going to be using the one of the peonies from the, haven't learned the names of these, prized peony set. And I'm going to stamp it off first, and I'm using the pretty peacock again. Okay. And we're going to stamp it down at the bottom here and stamp it partially off because I don't want it to be that heavy. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that pretty? I love peonies. I also love iris too. All right, probably not a big rose. I mean, I like roses, but you know. All right, so we're gonna glue this using our multi-purpose liquid glue to this Just Jade panel. I don't always put a, an extra panel on the inside. I just thought this would be kind of pretty. And, and this is gonna have a little bit bigger framework around it. I just wanted to make it a little bit more interesting on the inside. Okay, we're going to go ahead and glue that. Now this is, oh crap. Oh well, I kind of did this long, this wrong, but you know what? It is what it is. I probably should have done everything this way. <laughs> okay, can we rip this off? We can. Do I have another piece of paper? No. 
So bear with me for just a second and I will get another piece of Whisper White. And that was four and three quarters by three and a half. Sorry. <laughs> Oops, I can't use that piece. There we are. Okay, so hold on for just a second, folks. Four and three quarters by, see, everybody makes hip, uh, mistakes. Four and three quarters, yeah, four and three quarters. We're almost done here. Four and three quarters by three and a half. Okay, so, <laughs> like I said, everybody makes mistakes. All right, we're going to try that again. And, okay, let's get this going, all of it going on the in the right direction, inside and out. Okay, that's got a spot on it. Use this side. And... Perfect. Okay, where's my peony? There you are. And we're going to stamp it off. Down at the bottom. There we go. Okay. Now, we're gonna try and glue this down again. Get this extra piece off here. <laughs> See, everybody makes mistakes. And there's always a way to fix it. Okay. I think that is pretty close. Okay, one other little tip that by turning it over, you are now showing that, um, and the reason I had to turn it over was because there was a little spot on, on the paper. It wasn't anything that I did. Um, one of the things I found is, and I've tried everything with regard to when I am cutting my paper. I've been light-handed, I've been heavy-handed, but it seems like you're always going to get that little, when that, when that blade cuts, it pushes that paper down. So now if you can see this, there's a little bit of a ridge, of a little bit of a rough edge. What I found is I take my bone folder and I can push that out. I can get rid of that. Now this side is, is fine because I, I only cut on one, well, I cut on both two sides. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the, um, the direction the fibers go in the paper, um, whatever. But now, now we have a card that's going to be presentable. Okay, now we're going to glue this to the inside of the card base after my flub. All right. Much better when the there everything is going in the right direction, hmm? I kind of like that. Very different. And this is also going to be glued down. And I'm going to put it this way. Just for, for whatever reason for me, some people can pick it up and, and put it on there. I can't do that. Let's make sure we're all going in the same direction. I know. I'm moving it around and trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay. There we go. Now, I was going to use some ribbon. And this ribbon is from the... Flowers for Every Season Ribbon Combo Pack. I kind of like this gingham, but I think that might just be a little too much. And I don't like... This white ribbon is too wide. So... <clears throat> uh, um, I've always got the crinkled ribbon. I'm also going to use some... 
Um, hmm, does that have green on it? Yeah. These are the enamel dots, and that's some of the, um, um, looks like the um, new in color is on there. But I'm just trying to figure out, do you think, do you think the gold ones would be better or the rhinestones? I think the rhinestones. Um, I don't know if I should put one of these on there. Okay, that's that's one of the in colors. I think that's just jade. So maybe if we put a just jade on either end of that. <clears throat> And um, and then do the rhinestones. Let's put it. Uh, yeah, let's put it right here. Come on, get off of there. Okay. Come on. What a screw up on this card, huh? Come on. Oh, look at that. Hmm. That's not good. All right, we're going to leave you there. I'll fix it later. And then some rhinestones. These are probably my favorite. All right. Let's get some bigger, a bigger one so we can kind of see it in the dense forest we have going on here. Let's put one up here. And we'll put one down over here. And maybe a medium sized one right here. Okay, there you go. I just, I think it's different. Um, Oops, I lost my little stone. It's gone. Let's see if I can get this off of here without damaging that too much. Okay, um, all right, throw that away. Let's see if we can get it off of here. All right, there we go. Perfecto. Okay, there you go. All right. Isn't that sweet? Just a great card. Somebody would love to get that. Um, again, I raised these two panels up so that you could see some depth. It's a little bit of a busy card, but I really kind of like it. Of course, the color coordination that, that Stampin' Up! does is unbelievable. Um, again, please note that there's a that I've got a new new class, and it's on Wednesdays. I will let you know the time. And um, if you need a catalog, please get in touch with me. I'd be more than happy to send you out a catalog. Everything will be on, um, uh, probably on YouTube by, by at, at latest by Saturday, and it will have all the dimensions, um, all the links to buy, buy the products. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great day. Um, please stay safe out there and healthy and um, we love you and we um, I so greatly appreciate you and your business um, have a great day and I'll see you next Thursday at 10 a.m. bye bye